Dear viewers, welcome to another super edition of Interview with Stephen Ahwin. Our interview with Stephen Ahwin today, our focus is quest for relocation to Canada. No other uh, person can speak better on this than a native <laughs> of Canada. And my guest is Marianne Zachary. She's a wonderful mother I have in Canada. She's kind and tender hearted. Her human benevolence is inexplicable. She joins me online from Canada. Marianne Zachary, welcome to interview with Stevie. Uh, I'm super delighted to have you on the show. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now, um, okay. All right, now, so to hit, to hit the nail on the head. Now, is there a way for one to immigrate to Canada without having to go through a rigorous, rigmarole, or tedious and complex procedures? Mm, you know, when I look further on that site, is they want at least two grand of money, Canadian, um, and that's that's about what I saw. So oh, okay, I don't know what, oh, all right, now look, now, really be okay. Now you know, so many social media handles today especially some sites on Facebook, seem to announce their facilitation of the immigration of you know, those who want to relocate to Canada. Now, with you know, beautiful uh, pictures of supposed Canadians and women in their site, how do you know whether such sites are genuine or not? I wouldn't trust them. Okay, you wouldn't trust them. So what will you, you know... No. Okay, you won't trust such sites. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I would go. I would go to something that has a Canadian law firm or something like that. There is no way I trust any of the social media. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. Now, uh, what is the impression Canadians, you know, have about expatriate? That's immigrant. You know, don't you think uh, there might be some sort of, you know, zone, xenophobic attack? against immigrants from, you know, who are going to Canada for greener pasture. Don't you think that maybe one day uh, Canadians uh, will rise up and say, oh, we don't want you in our country. You seem to be enjoying our resources and other opportunities that are made for uh, Canadians. Don't you see the possibility of that or the potential of that? There is that. There is that that people have done. And then there is the other side where they welcome you. So I don't know what will be your precise experience, um, but I do know that there is some yucky, ugly things that happen. Okay. Now, let me pick you up on social media handles again. There is almost no social platform that you visit without, you know, seeing adverts like work in Canada. Now, the impression is that there are so many job opportunities in Canada. Don't you think this is hyperbolic or kind of being overhyped? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Um, because when I think of our children um, that have tried to get a job, they have to be trained for what want to go into. Um, there are the McDonald's uh, oh, what do you, restaurant things that you can ask for a job and they don't ask for a whole lot of skill except that you speak English, that you can do some math. Um, so that way you could. And then there are places like, uh, what are those called? motels, hotels, where you can do cleaning. Um, there are places, if, if you have a driver license, you could maybe do a hmm, package parcel thing that you could deliver. Um, there's pizza joints that you maybe can do that sort of driving or even make the food if, you know, if you're listening well and obeying what they want, you might be able to. 
I'm saying might because I don't know what your situation will be, right? Okay, so now the, the, the advertisement that, you know, uh, social media is being inundated or agog with advertisements like such as, you know, work in Canada. So the question is that, don't you think that this availability of job opportunities in Canada is being kind of like hype or exaggerated? Don't you see it as an exaggeration? I do. Very much. Because that's not always reality. Okay. Okay. Now, all right. Thank you. Oh, what labor can unskilled immigrants do and how attractive is the pay? Is there uh, uh, a labor or a job or a work for on, you know, ski labor people who don't, or immigrants who don't have uh, you know, much education, have little or no education. Are there jobs for them? You'd really have to search them. Um, like I say, you, you might be able to walk into a hotel and ask for a job as a cleaning person um, or making the beds and such, things like that. You might be able to walk in somewhere and say, look, could I work for you? And the minimum pay uh, per hour at this time, as I understand, is $15 per hour. That's the minimum pay that they have to give you. But will they? I don't know. Okay. All right. Now, finally, what advice uh, do you have for people you know, nursing the ambition of migrating to Canada because it seems everybody now wants to go to Canada, wants to relocate to Canada. So what advice do you have for you know people who have such ambition or intention? Really search and make sure that this is really what you want. Um, you have me as your friend. Um, it's not easy especially coming from a warmer climate hmm. to something this cold in the winter. Hmm. Um, also, it looks like if you have some sort of skill, you might be able to find something better, but I don't know that for certain. Uh, that's the best I can really tell you. Like, like usually... I have to say, people from Africa have a really strong ethical skill of working hard. Yes, you know that's, that's very true. That's very true. In my opinion, from what I've seen, you people work hard. So I think if, if employers want to have a hardworking person and you show them what you can do, I think you'd have it done. But the thing is, it sounds to me, if you properly come through the immigration, there is a payment that has to be made and that's over two grand. So, so $2,000 Canadian. And I don't know how you're going to do that if you have hardly anything when you come over. I like it has a free thing on that site that I was showing or um, reading a bit on, and it has uh, where you can find out if you qualify. Okay. So it has it has federal skilled workers and federal skilled trades. No, now it won't go up. Like it did. And then it has Canadian experience class. <clears throat> so <laughs> that was through the express entry program. And um, it says the easiest way to find out if you're el eligible to use our free online assessment tool. So then there's that. And then there's a provincial nominee program. That's what they say. There's family sponsorship. Um, there's Canada's startup visa program. There's other federal economic programs. 
And how much does it cost? It says 2300 CAD for a single applicant. Or 45,000, so 4,500 Canada dollars for a couple. Okay. Um, uh, and I don't know what all this means, but do I need the IELTS to emigrate from to Canada from Nigeria? I don't know. Um, and then it, 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 if you can Google that site, I, I sent you a picture of, you might be able to figure out what you can do or not do. Okay, uh, Mary uh, Zachary. I must say thank, yes. thank you for being on interview with Stephen Atwind. Yo, the information you have provided has been quite insightful and they are profiting and very, very useful. Thank you for being on interview You're with welcome. Stephen. All right. You're welcome. All right. Blessings to you. All right. Mm -hmm. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.